So I guess a lot of people are wondering what's next. I don't know. I think maybe like a secretary job. For real? Yeah. Something like normal. Like a normal human being. Like imagine imagine like okay, so funny story is yeah. my high school my high school my high school I, my high school What's your high school? It was a long time ago. Uh-huh. And then you wanna you want people to judge me, don't yeah. you? Like you Tell the world, what's your <laughs> high school? <laughs> I was homeschooled. <laughs> no, but um, I went to ISK. Uh-huh. And um, we had this amazing receptionist who happened to be <laughs> Kareen's mom. And my high Holler. pass, my high pass trying to get my songs played on Homeboys Radio, went and like wrote a whole ass letter being like, hi, Shit. here's my Come CD. Please play my song. Come on now. And I waited. And I waited. And I, but what happened? Oh. Why don't you play my song? Oh. Oh, do I have a CD player? Ask me that first. <laughs> Listen. Get- you know the funniest thing about like being a radio station? Yeah. You could post anything and someone's going to drop a link. I even look at your tweets sometimes and you be tweeting about whatever the fuck you want to tweet about yeah. and someone's going to be plugging in their fucking YouTube link. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right? this is not the time or the place. I'm in a bad place. Like, why, yeah. why, do, why do... They don't give a fuck. So long as they're think, online... Why, does it, why is it always, like, why is it always, it's time for me to plug myself? I, mean, I, I like it, but I'm also like, come on, read the room. <laughs> read the room, <laughs> yo. Read the room. But you know what? There's no rules. Whatever. There's no rules on online radio. Yeah. There's rules in the real world. Yeah. I mean, that would be awkward if this was like a... Re- and then someone just bursts in here to be like, play my song, right? Yeah. But uh, it's the real world. Yo, those streets are for real, right? Twitter streets are for real. No, 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 no. Twitter's not a real place. <laughs> Can I tell you a funny story? Yeah. So I did this poll once. I okay. asked people, do you think G-Money can make, um, can play an hour set of Kenyan music? Yeah. And I know he can. Mm-hmm. It was more like, hey, we wanted to do like, it was, it was not ill-minded, but mm-hmm. G-Money took offense to it. And oh. I don't know, it wasn't, I don't know, like, and that's what's like, it was, it's Twitter. Yeah. It's like, we, l- bro. But that's I also love, not, uh-huh. I love G Money, I lo- bro. Like everything, like so. Like how would I? How could I possibly be talking shit about G Money? But like, I feel like because it was the internet, yeah. exactly. Then could, you coming at yes, me, right? Yeah, it yeah. looks like, but it's n- it's not. It wasn't. It wasn't beef. You're gonna take it like an attack. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like everyone is always ready to fight back, especially KOT. Yeah, of course. That's that's our. Hobby. But I feel like in Kenya, you have to be aggressive to survive. Like if you're just like hi. I'm here. <laughs> like, people are going to walk over you. Yeah, if you're nice. Yeah, I guess. Nice people get fucked over. Yeah. Um, so, mm. if you could only listen to one album for the rest of your life. K.E.? Any album. Oof. For the rest of, like, just one album you could listen to over and over. And, like, oh. you don't get tired of it. Yeah. You, you put me one? on the spot, though. Nah, give me five minutes, I'll come okay. up with it. Okay. Wait, do you have one? I have a couple. International or KE? Both. Carter 3. Okay. Oh, um, that's a good one. Carter 3. I could listen to Carter 3, like, a lot. I could listen to Nashinsky's Lucky You album a lot. But, um... I like albums, and that's the thing. You Like, I like to sit down with a project. Like, even with an artist, the reason I... L- the reason I built Radio 254 was thinking... I want to play these albums that people make because you'll hear the single. Mm-hmm. You'll hear the single, but nobody's sitting down to consume an album the anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And I feel like artists spend so much time and work putting together an album. We need to support and appreciate that. Yeah, sure. I agree. Corinne, you can be this quiet. Ask no, me questions. No, I'm actually not. I'm Ask not. me questions. I, I just feel like I'm in your house. I'm just trying to be respectful. Take your shoes <laughs> off. You can walk. <laughs> you can. <laughs> you could be up in this bitch do like... <laughs> What I'm just th- trying to be respectful. I'm in your space. Don't worry. When I set up my, my studio, uh-huh. <laughs> that's a joke, guys. But um, yeah, I'm definitely not quiet. I don't know. I'm just chilled out right now. I'm trying to like figure out exactly what you're doing and how you're doing it. So I, there's a podcast that's been really taking off, um, especially just because of how authentic it is. Okay. Um, Mafrika and mm-hmm. Zach's mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. 
And I'm pretty sure I'm I meeting f- up with Zach tomorrow. As a matter of fact, if you want to catch me on a podcast, tune in. For real? Yeah. So I was gonna say I heard of Zach because he was used to be on your show on Homeboys. Um and a lot of people wondering Technically I was in his show, basement on Saturday. Okay, mornings. yeah. Mm-hmm. But like in terms of my only question was what next is people are suggesting podcasting. I guess what's your thoughts on podcasts? I don't know how that shit makes money. <laughs> yeah, I'm just so used to playing the employment game mm-hmm. that no, I'm just like. No. But like, I feel like it's time for you to be your own boss. I agree, but I'm not you sure. You want to be my podcasting. boss? Yeah, sure. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm just I, not sure. I'd love to be like, yo, Kareen's the boss over here. Just talk to the boss. <laughs> yeah no i put in work that's the thing is that people see hear me for just a couple of hours a day Mm -hmm. but no i put in work so can i be honest Mm -hmm. i don't prepare for my show okay ever well tonight's show is great you know what i do Mm -hmm. i pray like before the interview starts i pray i let god and i just go like one i love kenyan music i'm like i love kenyan music like i will die on this mountain like a few things I love. The only thing I love more than Kenyan music is myself. Okay. <laughs> so I love me, and then I love me some Kenyan music. But like, um, where was I going with this? You love Kenyan music. You didn't know that. <laughs> I knew that. I was going somewhere with it. But like, in terms of we're talking about podcasts, yeah. Kenyan music, yeah. praying. So I don't prepare. Like, there's a time I called um someone, and they're like, "I'm preparing for my show. I can't talk right now," mm-hmm. and like. Oh, I'll write down a couple questions okay. just so I know the direction that we're moving in. Mm-hmm. But usually it's just really just to to make sure that I'm like calm, like I'm not going to run out of yeah. stuff to say. But yeah, either you read them or you don't. It's not like there's bulleted questions, yeah. you know, it's just like. Because I feel like I go off the vibe. The vibe is like the most important yeah. thing in the sense of like if we're having a conversation, like we can we can talk. And like I can by talking to you, I can see okay, we can continue. We should mm-hmm. stop. Exactly, you have that, to read the yes, room. Yes, that's exactly what yeah. I do. Yeah. I feel like I love when people are like I have thirty questions, and I'm gonna, I'm like cool. Like if question you know, number one, where are you from? Yeah, <laughs> and it's the like worst, that's the worst kind of interview. Because I want to leave. Where did you start? Yeah, because it's like <laughs> oh, gonna... preparing. Like, either you either you. When I used to go when 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 in school, you know, before the exam, how everybody was like. Uh, did you read this? Did you read? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm the kind of person I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear. Like, yeah. if I know, I know. If I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. Like, fuck it. Like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my sixty and I'm gonna move on. Yeah. So like, I, I love interviews because I get to. I like talking to people, but I like having conversations with people. Like, I don't want to just. I want to know what life is like for you because like mm-hmm. I'm going through life. And then I, I wanted to, be, I like when I meet someone successful, like you know now I have a billion and you know back in the day like. Mm-hmm. That doesn't. I, do, I can't relate to where you are now, so I'm trying to get. I'm always trying to pick something from someone that I can apply to my life or just understand someone better. Like, because I feel like the only way to know where someone is at is having conversation. Like, when I used to play, just I told you, like when I used to just play music. Mm-hmm. Interviews change it for me because I'd be like, "Yo, TNT, where's the new music?" And then you talk to someone, you understand. Oh, they're going through life. This is happening. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Conversations with people will help you understand them better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, versus, ask those questions. Yeah. What? That's that's where the fun begins, isn't it? Have you ever asked a question? Have you, has anyone ever done a Birdman on you? Like, I'm out. No. Okay. I don't think. Have you ever? Although DJ Drama was really pissed. Why? Because I asked him about his mixtape. Remember how he was selling the uh, $100 mixtapes? Yeah. So I asked him about it, and Mm -hmm. he was like, that's my tape. So I asked him, I think the the way I phased it was like, how do you feel about people selling mixtapes for $100, knowing full well that it was him? Mm -hmm. But he's like, that's my tape. Then from then on, he was like pissed. He was pissed. Didn't Nipsey sell albums for like $1,000? Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I think it turned into that. But at the beginning, it started with $100 mixtapes. Mixtapes, which are notorious for being free. Yeah. So I was just putting that out there, but he did not like that question. Um, ev- so the interview was like, oh, okay, just to, like <laughs> just kidding, bye. Thanks for coming. Damn. Yeah, I killed it. So everybody and their mom loves Trap Lab. Did you guys, did you enjoy Trap Lab? Oh, I loved it. Okay. Yeah. I guess right now Kenyan hip hop is in an interesting place. I want to know your thoughts on Kenyan drill. Everyone thinks that they can, everyone thinks they're doing drill. What is it they're doing? So long as you're rapping, they feel like it's drill. Okay. So is like I'll, is, I'll is drill it. is drill the new name for rap? I guess 
it's just the new catch. For, I mean, that's what's hot right now. So I don't know. You could be singing. You're calling a drill. Cool. Whatever. That makes you happy. Whatever. Mm -hmm. like we, I assume that you can see through whatever it is, right? Yeah. When you hear drill, you know what it sounds like. I have I had an interview with uh, Kevin Provoke and Manduku Digital, and he said something that kind of I never thought about deeply enough to care. But he was talking about like how have you ever heard like Billie Eilish music or like a little bit like the there's there's a there's two the the the, the mentioned they talked about they talked about drill and then the low like the really low like call me man. like that really like there's a voice like your pitch is really low okay. It kind of, those tones can play with your mind. Okay. In the sense of like, it's depressive kind of music. Okay. I don't know how, how else to call it. Like, if you're talking about death, you're talking about certain things in music. Yeah. And then they talk about drill and how drill music is supposed to be drilling someone or killing someone. Yeah. Um, I well, I mean, it started off hype. Yes. When we're talking like UK drill, it's, mm -hmm. it was hype. Like... It was it was dark because it was street, yeah. but it was still height. But then now you go to like the New York drill. It's like, yeah, the lifestyle. The, the drill is not just the music, but almost like the lifestyle of drilling. Sure, sure. But like, um, with I think. okay, like Jay Z said on a, like on on on, a, on the song with Jay Z and Drake, he's like, "I'll drill you," and it's okay. like, I guess That's like, different. I mean, you could use drill in all sorts of contexts, though, right? If a nigga's telling me he'll drill me, uh -huh. it means something else. <laughs> <laughs> but like, with you and Ken, with you being someone who's watched Kenyan hip hop evolve, how do you feel about people talking about stuff that doesn't make sense? Like when someone's talking about Bugattis and talking about like just shit. It's like, I guess can you tell someone like you can tell someone what people are gonna make music about whatever they want to make music mm -hmm. about. But like, it also doesn't have to be real life. Explain. It doesn't have to. I mean, if you want to, like, be this persona, you can do that. Just as long as it's good. And I think even if people can see through it, maybe that's aspirational for you and for your listeners, you know? Okay. Don't you agree? You don't have to tell me about the streets. You don't have to tell me you're driving a Honda. You don't have to tell me those details. That's cool. Okay. But if you want to pretend that you are in your Bugatti, then, you know, whatever. I'll roll with it. So long as the music's good enough to hook me, then I'm good. Okay. Um, what's good music to you? K. Yeah, not an artist, but what do you consider? Like, what, 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 what? I guess, what do you consider good music? When you listen to music, what are you looking for? Are you looking to just chill? Like, I listen to music to work no. out these days. Okay. So, like, if you if if I can't listen to your album, like, if I can't work, like, if I can't work out to it, it's kind of hard for me, just because. That's the only time I get to listen to music and enjoy it. Because, like, here I'm listening to music for my job. Yeah. But then I want an album I can actually, like, listen to and Oof, work out I'm to. all over the place with that, though. Okay. I'm all over the place with that because I am a, dr I think I'm a driller. Mm -hmm. But I'm a trapper for sure. Okay. But then at the same time, if you give me, like, a, like a black album, uh -huh. I'm listening to it, you know? Doesn't have black to be like hype. six like or black like like who? six like okay yeah I get confused with the name like I'm like black sack black black <laughs> I'm like what the fuck is your name um yeah I'm into like super mellow like I was into triple X I'm into Juice World like super mellow is cool like Don Tolliver and stuff uh you just have to be in the mood like so long as it puts me like if I can turn it on and I'm like okay this is the mood I'm at then I'm happy with it okay yeah. Um, have you heard TNT's Wait For You Love Freak TNT. Out? Love him. Yeah. In fact, I was just thinking about Timmy while you're doing this interview. I was just like, yo, I need to hit my nigga up. Because since he worked with Diana Cods, yeah. he's like literally fallen off the face of the planet. I feel like the reason I don't rap anymore is because I want Timmy to rap. I'm like, I can't rap like Timmy. Right? So Timmy's this, crazy. I don't want to be rapping if you could. <laughs> let, he can rap better. Let Timmy rap. I don't need to be rapping Timmy at all. Timmy is crazy. But you know the thing is, there's so many other Timmys in the sense of, in my experience with Kenyan music, I know Unique. Mm -hmm. Unique, Unique is, is crazy. You know another one who fell off, but he comes in, he dabbles a little bit, and then he disappears another like three years. I think about IT. You okay. remember I, yeah, it's, it's yeah, like Tennessee. Yeah. Does IT he still is, make music? No. No. Um, I think about, um, I actually got a chance to sit down with Papa Don. Mm -hmm. He's insane. Mm -hmm. Ward Baba. Mm -hmm. There's so many. And I feel like. And his talent comes in the way he can just switch languages just exactly. like that. It's super easy for him. Yeah. So I feel like. For me, like if I if I get when I s these guys are goats, mm -hmm. but 
but I feel like why this platform exists is to 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 honor the like because we they're forgotten because they're not in our faces all the time. This is what dude was saying tonight though. Like, who is supposed to be the one to be like okay? Like, because you can easily throw out the, the baby with the bathwater, right? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you can also, just for the sake of playing Kenyan music or just to give people a chance, you could easily, like, just be playing garbage when you know it's garbage. Like, do we want to hear garbage just to hear ourselves, like, on the radio? Like, if I do a freestyle today and then I give you the tape, are you going to play it? Nah, it's garbage. I can't say it's garbage. I can't. <laughs> but you can. I can't. I personally can't. You can. I'm gonna put you okay. So me so I can't say it's garbage because I remember my first song. Okay. It was garbage. Okay. But I got better. Okay. And the thinking for me is I remember I have been soul music from 2010. Okay. It's not the same as been soul music today. today. Okay. And the reason. I don't want to say it's garbage is because we have to nurture these artists yeah. so that they can get better. Because if I shit I on you now, I agree. There is no 10 years later. Yeah. Okay, I've, that's true. You know, like, even the mere fact that I played your song, you want to go back to the studio, make, it, maybe, make, make a better song. Because I've had guys who I, I played the one song and they're like, hey, I worked on another song. I tried. Can you can you listen to this one? That's true. I think that what you should do is okay. Give play the song, mm. and then listen to feedback. If people are like, "Hey, that's a joint," like then you can play it like again. Or but if there's like zero response, it's not because you have no followers. It's because it didn't resonate. It didn't hit. Yeah. And maybe if it's a hot enough song that no one talked about it, but you think it was good, then just play it, right? Yeah. As in, you have all the authority to play it as many times or as few times as you choose in it. I don't feel like I can say I, I don't feel like I could say a song is bad. I think you should be able to. If you want discerning listeners, then you should. But what's bad for me might be nice for someone else. Then they'll go find it. But you know Kenya. But you're also but then the <coughs> other millions of people who are listening in, you're you're failing them because it's gonna be as soon as a bad in fact if two bad songs play back to back, I'm just like, yo, I'm just gonna go like watch some Netflix. But can I do something? The third song might be fire. It's too bad. You've already lost me. Two songs. That's eight minutes of my life. Do you have an extra eight minutes in your life? You don't. You're but too I, busy for that. I want to give them a chance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maybe you can have a show called, like, The Crappy Hour. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. But we can't call songs crap. We can't. Like, that's, that's how you break our hearts. You know, like, my song was a hit or miss. It was a miss. You know what that did for me? I'm still therap- I'm still in therapy for that shit. <laughs> Shout out to Delo Nyango and whoever else was the fucking host that day. Word. But like that shit will fuck you up as an artist. It'll break you. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it doesn't have to necessarily come from you. Yeah. But if you give people a platform to have those kind of conversations, then they they'll talk. They'll be like straight up, I don't like it. Straight up, play it again. Yeah. yeah. So you can gauge from the response. Okay. Don't you think? I think so. Okay. Um. Like you said, KOT, they're not shy. Of course. They're going to say what they feel. Yeah. So KOT, Even if it's unsolicited. So there's a song that's out, and there's, a mix, there's mixed reactions to it. Okay. And I want to get your take. Okay. But you're free, to, you're free to plead the fifth if you, if okay. you, you want to be pussy. Okay. <laughs> you say that like it's an insult. Mama's Italian. Mama's Kenyan, daddy's Italian. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No. no? no. Tanasha Mama's Donna Ken- has a song. Oh, okay. It's called Karma. Okay. Featuring Brock. Don't know it. Don't, no. I don't listen to her. Good save. Sorry. Good save. <laughs> Sorry. That's, that's, it's Everyone a, loves her. It's a drill she's song. She's beautiful. She's, she's cute. Yeah, yeah. She's beautiful. Okay. That's all I got. So you haven't heard the song? No. I don't trust you. Uh, no. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's heard the song. Okay. Okay. Well, is it good? There's mixed opinions. Am I going to go home and listen to it? See, I don't know what, I, I don't know. If you didn't like Jay-Z's verse today, I don't know what's going to make you happy. I Karina. didn't say I didn't like it. I just felt like that was expected. It wasn't different. Okay. So, I have a thing I'd love to try. Okay. 
I'd love to pair like different artists I'd love to hear together because we have a studio we have a music yeah. studio yeah so if you were like to EP like executive produce mm-hmm. Kenyan hip hop artists who would you pair like who would you love to like who's never worked together that you would love to be like yo I want to hear a song with these two like different like you could throw different pairings if you like if you'd like It's too hard. I have to think about it. Okay. I have to watch what I'm saying. Why? <laughs> no, let me think about it. Because I'm going to go home and kick myself and be like, that was stupid. I should have said this one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to plead the fifth. Okay. So, radio. Mm-hmm. Since you started radio, mm-hmm. I guess what what what's changed about radio that you like and that you don't like? So, <coughs> you've done radio commercially for a long time. Yeah. Um, I guess these days people are watching us. These days social mm-hmm. media is important. These days so much has changed about radio. What do you like and what don't you like about um, radio today? Everyone's just playing the same shit. Like literally all the shows like just sound the same. Doesn't matter if it's morning, breakfast, midnight, whatever. It's just all the same. Um, the formula is so boring. The formula is so boring. I think that... Um, That's because you guys want to play only good songs. That's true. It's commercial radio. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really the downfall to commercial radio. Because I don't know that people want to listen to shitty songs unless it's called the crappy hour. There's no shitty songs. Then you know what you signed up for. Like, it's going to be one hour of some crappy shit that you wish you had spent that hour, I don't know, hugging your kids or something like that. Like, it's just a waste of your time. I don't want to waste people's... Unless it's funny. If it's crappy hour and it's funny and we can all, like, joke about it, then that's cool. It's entertainment. But if it's not entertaining, I don't want to be a part of it. Okay. As a listener. Okay. But in terms of like, what do you like about radio today? I'm in a bad place right now. So I'm not really trying to talk good things about radio. Radio can go fuck itself, for honest. So could but, Kareen um, really have like an office job? Like just sitting down, grading papers, whatever. Like, could you see that for you? Are you like at the point it's like, I'm so done with this shit, I could... I, like nah radio's my love yo like okay. we were talking about it yo i went to school for this yeah i didn't expect that yeah so i mean uh, <clears throat> no rate it's not to do with the present i think people don't understand that the pe- like even when you're watching tv the people who are in front of the camera that's the last person it goes through you know before you hear it or mm-hmm. you see it um, but it's all the shit that happens before. Like when you were saying that you could take my job, I just play. It's not. This is not the job. The job is zero to do with the, the equipment and right, like right. Sp- yeah. Yeah, exactly. So it, it goes through a million hands, a million, a million different opinions, a million like it's. It just when it comes down to like the last radio I was working at. I'm not going to mention that one <laughs> where you have to talk for two minutes or less. So you're trying to fit in all your ideas, all your concepts, whatever, in like two minutes. Mm-hmm. Is that possible? I get it that you have to keep it moving because, you know, it's live, like you're wasting airtime. But, you know, I don't think that in reality people talk like that. No. Yeah. When's the last time you listened to radio? Genuinely. Because the biggest thing is like nobody listens to radio anymore. In the Uber. But it's besides that, like, like, even when you were working in radio, would you listen to radio? No. Is that weird? No. I mean, I know what I want to listen to. <laughs> and I feel like that's the same thing with the consumer. They know what they want to listen to. Yeah. They can go listen to Don. They can go listen on YouTube. They can go listen on Spotify. That's so it's why. Like, why, why would I come listen to your radio right. show and not listen to whatever I can listen because to? Because they trust you to curate a, a proper playlist that they are going to know that if I come here, someone else is... Go- the thing about radio that I do like, let me just clarify that, is that it has some power. That's why I think it's been a- around for so long. Is that it has some power of you feeling like when the, when the song comes on that you like and you're like, oh shit, turn it up. It feels better because you know that it's not just you who's excited like at this moment yeah. to be like, it's happening like right now, but other people are also in that, like, in that moment to be like, oh shit, this is the song, turn it up. That's the beauty of radio. Because, like you said, otherwise you can just go search for it. But it doesn't hit the same way. Um, really off-topic question. Sure. When <laughs> I'm here for it. When, <laughs> when, what is it like to date Kareen? To I, what? To date Kareen. 
Oh, I'm the best. I'm huh? great. I'm I great. see some tweets. You, <laughs> I see some tweets. I don't know about all the best, but I see some tweets. Get the fuck out my like. <laughs> what is it like? Like, do we? What, what Korean is someone getting? <clears throat> No, in real life, people are just like, like the way you were to me just now. You're like, don't be quiet. Like in real life, I'm just like, so what are we doing now? You know? But people expect me to like bring the party like I'm hype all the time or I want to trap all the time. Nah. Yo, I like to be on the couch and watch some TV. Like that's a good night for me. Would you, when, like, would you, when's the last time you went out, like to party? Do you party? Not really. Last time I went out, I think the next day I got um, next, but last time I went <laughs> out was with uh, one Geshi and Ms. Ruby V. Shout out, actually, she's waiting for me at home, so I need to dip. Nice. Um, Cause yeah, so that's like my idea of a party is like low key come to my house, we drink a couple drinks, smoke a bit, and then everyone just goes home. Okay. Yeah, that's my type of party. So would you say like your home body? Oh yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. So how do you like balance bringing me out of my house to come here? Yo. <laughs> how do you balance being you and then going and being a personality? Cuz like I guess is like is it's you who when you're on the radio is still Kareen, but like is like what's is there a switch? Not really. I don't feel like it's like a show. Like now you're on, but if you are like out, yeah. Because a lot of times people are like, "Oh, like it, she's broken." Like they want to shake you to be like, "It's not working." Because they want me to be like, want you be all the yeah. time. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna, like this is my real life. That's it. Okay. Yeah. I literally I'm an open book. I feel like you're hard to read. Really? I like it though. It's like I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, what is what she's thinking? Like I can't no, tell. No. There's no. How many tattoos do you have? Oh, I just got this fresh one. Shout out to you, Jay. Um one, two, three. Six. Okay. That's it. That's not a lot. I think I might stop. You think? Yeah. Why? Mm. It looks nice when it's fresh and then it just like pales. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm dark skinned, so <laughs> People just gonna be like, uh, you hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think I do it not really for the look, but because it's kind of cathartic. Okay. Yeah. Um, Go through the pain, walk through those coals. Um, if you could, if you could. Wait, why is this a one way? Have, do, do people know what you do? Who am I? How many MAs do you have? Three. Okay. And one's an MBA, one's an MSc. Okay. One MA. Same thing. No. In my book, that's the same thing. Mm, I don't know. Are you going to progress to do like a PhD? I'll be done in 12 months. Okay. That's Nobody wants to know I, about that's me. That's all I got. Nobody <laughs> wants to know about Can't me. Can't tell you nothing. <laughs> um, but um, if, if no one ever does... Um, tell you why would you join the army never been in the army the navy never been the in the air navy. force why yeah um i joined the air force because my bad i thought army encompasses all of that fuck no <laughs> i mean all that is the army but that's a whole long history lesson oh, that okay. i had to learn that nobody needs to know okay um i guess i graduated university and i wanted to come back home and my mom's like, you're not coming back home. She didn't want me to come back home. I guess she just felt I could do more. So I didn't have, I, I didn't wanted to come back home and try things. And I guess my mom felt I should get experience in life. Okay. So um, at the point I was at, um, I became like the man of the house really early. So my dad died when I was 18. So when Sorry my dad that. died, um, Nobody can tell me shit. Okay. So, and when, and it was weird because I felt I still had a lot of growth to do. But then in this environment, people were like, ah, oh, you have it made, you have, you know. And I felt like, damn, if I stay here, I can't grow. In the sense of, I needed discipline in my life and I needed to change some things. And there was no way I would be able to change or discipline myself if I stayed in the same environment. I personally think you can't change um, when you're comfortable. 
Sure. So um, I made a selfish decision to join the Air Force. And it was probably one of the best decisions I made in the sense of I w- I, I only, the only thing I can compare it is, you know how like Nak- Nakamatsu UK used to be there? Mm-hmm. I was 22. I had gone to school. Like, you know how like, your parents want you to go to school, make money, whatever. I'd done... I'd done I was done pleasing whoever I needed to please. Okay. So then I was like, okay, now what do I do with my life? And then nobody's like, do this. And like, no one was telling me what to do. So I was like, I should probably address some of the things I needed to fix on myself. So because I always felt like people around me were like 50 and they were not ch- wanting to change. I felt like the older you get, the harder it is for you to change. Yeah. So oh, yeah. I wanted to change. So I guess I took that risk. Okay, but you're not 50. Yeah. So I wanted I wanted to change. I wanted to change before I got to the point where it was too late to change. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you did the most dramatic thing you could possibly do. Yeah. Okay. I even tried to scare my mom like, "Yo, I'm going to get killed." She's like, "Cool." Like, <laughs> like she wasn't she was not phased by like, you know like how you like sc- you like you know how you want someone to stop you from doing something? Yeah. No one was stopping me. Yeah. So I just, I did it. Um, it was scary. Yeah. Definitely. But no regrets. No regrets. Um, I wouldn't be me. I would, so the me that was before the Air Force, me that, <laughs> fuck, the me that was before the Air Force had ideas. I could never execute them. And I always tell people, ideas is nothing. Execution is everything. Like, sure. I had the idea of this radio station in 2013. The 2013 me could never do it. The discipline and I, ha- the discipline I, and drive that I have now you can't stop me in the sense of I know how to use my skills. I know what I'm good for. I know how to, I know how to work me. Okay. So I understand myself better. Um, so it's helping me a lot. Okay. Yeah. Do you still have your uniform? Uh, no. I mean, you can't just get that shit away, right? So some of them are threw away. And then some of them are in a storage unit somewhere in okay. Michigan. Okay. Yeah. So it's still waiting for you. Nothing's waiting for me. Would you go back to be like fully active? No. So you've gotten everything you need from it, bro. I di- people what I did in five years, people don't do in twenty years. Like I like you know like when you go and do something and say, oh, I'm gonna go do this." So I graduated university. I wanted to go to grad school. My mom couldn't afford grad school for me. So I said, you know, I'm going to go to the Air Force, work on my yeah. habits, my whatever, yeah. and also get grad school. I left the Air Force with three master's degrees. Yeah, that's amazing. I left, so it's like, so I left, um, so like, I had nothing more to do. You know, like, I came, like, I'm a very goal-oriented person. I want this. So I want to build a house. I built a house. If I built a house, what more do I need to do? So it's like, I came. No, I, isn't that I, where you put your feet up and you just be like... I mean, no, you, I feel like that's the end. Nah, that's the end. You, you want a life. No. It's finished. <laughs> nah, you, th- when you get to your point, when you get to the point you want to get to, you get new goals. You get new challenges. Like, people always like, you should go back to America. And I say, that's cute, but like, I made it in America. <laughs> I want to make it here too. Okay. And then when I make it here, maybe I'll go make it in South Africa. And then maybe All go right. make it in All China. Right. So like, I'm not a settler. Okay. I like, I like to, um, I want to go for my, th- I want to go for whatever I want to go for. I want to achieve it and then set a new goal. Okay. Yeah. So my yeah, goal. Me too. I don't think I'm gonna like live and die here. To be honest. Okay. I don't. I just don't know where next. Like where. Um. So how old is Quay? Eight. Um. What does he want to do? That's my ride or die. What does he want to? What is? What, what does he want to be? I don't know. He's eight. I hope he doesn't know yet. You don't think he knows? I hope no. I. He's going to be like, I want to be a pilot. <laughs> I want to be in the Air Force. <laughs> and then I'm going to be like, okay. Sh- I'm going to be like, yo, mom, okay. <laughs> Are you, I see you guys a lot. Are you guys friends? Like, you're his mom, but are you also friends? Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's my best friend. You're joking. Does he like music? Yeah. Could you? Does he listen to the music you listen to? Or like, do you have to, like, as much as, do you have to, say, like, do you p- not play the music? Like, I guess... No, t- the other day he was singing Lil Nas X because <coughs> it's on some game he plays. Okay. On, yeah, so I'm just like, how'd you know that song? <laughs> um, 
Yo, when my kid was three years old, he was ca- he was he was singing uh, Twenty One Savage Bank Account. Like he was for real, yeah, for real. Like I mean, I, and I don't even li- well, I do listen to it in front of him, but it's so long as he gravitated to it, I'm like, yeah. I, I'm not trying to force him. Yeah. I don't think. <laughs> nah, but you, but you would be mad if he had bad taste in music. So far, we're can good. someone have bad taste in music? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the deal breaker for you? In in life, like what? The, like what's like what's what's some like if you see something in someone, you're like, I never want to like. No, people who feel like they've figured it out, mm-hmm. or people who are condescending to you because we did it this way, so you should do it this way, and if you do it that way, they kind of like don't respect you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit irks me. Like, how the fuck you know that that's the way you should be, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like trying new things is also how you learn what's working and what... Like, how do, if you never try, how would you ever know? True. Because, like, I always say, like, the idea of a, a station that plays only Kenyan music was always there, but no one ever executed it. True. So it's like, there's a lot of ideas out there, a lot of things you could try, but if you never try, you'll never know. So, mm-hmm. I know you got shit to do, so I'm going to ask you... <laughs> Before you die, mm-hmm. oh shit! What is the one thing you have to try? Like you won't forgive yourself. Like especially like where you are in life right now, trying to figure out you're in transition. Like, what are you thinking? Like, yo, I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna not try this because I'm scared. Like, what is the one thing you are like? Okay, it doesn't have to be now, but I do want to be able to try this before I leave this earth. I can think of places I want to go. Mm-hmm. I can think of like activities, but we, I, the way you're putting that question to me is like, what life altering? Th- I don't know. Okay. But in terms of places I have to hit, like I have a bucket list of places I need to go. Okay. Um, mind sharing? Sorry? You mind sharing? Oh, places to go? No, like your, what, what's on your bucket list? It doesn't have to be places, but it could be things, sure. places, um, people. No, I want to work at a station mm-hmm. that is like a legit station with like legit money with like legit like systems in place. So long as I do that, maybe like a year and then I feel like I'm good. Okay. Um, Japan is on my bucket list. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do in Japan, but I want to go. Uh, but this is just because I was in conversation lately. Um, I want to... Uh, work for some massive conglomerate, mm-hmm. hopefully one that's got travel. If I could, because I'm so, like when I'm on YouTube, all I do is like watch people eat food. Okay. So I wish I'd like, can you I cook? wish I was like a food critic. Could you cook? I think I can, but people don't eat shit that I eat. I swear to God, they What'd don't eat, eat shit that I eat. Like, I, cause I'm a big cheese head. Okay. So I have like three different types of like cheese in my fridge at all okay. times. I'm like, we don't eat shit. That, that's white people food. Karina with her white yeah. people shit. Like, <laughs> Or olives, my kid likes olives. Okay, that's weird. We like pickles. No, pickles is pickles. the devil's food. Oh my god, I love pickles. <sighs> like, there's no hamburger without pickles. pickles in it. Chili, I'm a big chili head. Okay. Yeah, I am gonna do merch. Mm. I even have a name for it and everything, but okay. like, I just need to get that ball rolling nice. first. Actually, I'm gonna pick your brain as to like, okay. you know, I'm stuff done. like that. Yeah, I just need a platform that's like the Kareem platform. Okay. Um. Because you're Kareen. I don't want to work for no one. Because you're Kareen. Mm-hmm. Top five rappers. Uh, why do people ask me this question? I, no. I can give you my top five. Yeah. I'm ready. But like, what's your top five? Like, I respect, your, I respect your opinion in hip hop to the point where I would want, I'm curious what your top five is. Nah. What? You feel like you're going to offend someone? Yeah, Ooh. I might offend myself as soon as these. Come, I'm going to offend myself as soon as these names come out of my mouth. It's going to be like I'm going to hate myself. I'm going to hate myself. I'm going to miss out on like. I'm going to give you mine. Okay, go for it. Three stacks. Okay. Number one. Okay. Um, Are you saying that because it's cool or because that's legit? Legit. Okay. Like the verses. Sorry. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. Three stacks doesn't just rap. He raps meaningful shit. 
I respect that. Okay. Um, that's a good one. Um, Wayne is up there. Yeah, for uh, me too. Definitely. Fab is up there for me in my top five. Um, Eminem is in my top five. Okay. And then Biggie. I put Biggie in my top five. Okay. Um, just because Biggie made rap fun, it wasn't very like hip hop. Hip hop. It wasn't like it was. It wasn't also like it was. That's the finesse. That's the crystal. Like this is like that's okay. that's that's the flossy right. rap okay. shit. You right. know. Um, and then I'll put Taylor Tripper up there for me. Taylor Tripper is one of my favorite Kenyan rappers ever, dead or alive. I rate Tripper heavy, heavy. You don't have to give me your top five though. No. I don't have to. You don't have to unless you okay. want to. No. Okay. I know Push is up there, though. Okay. Yeah. I just can't really complete the list. Okay. <laughs> Why? Push and Wayne are up there. Okay. But that's two, so I need to. You think more. Push and Wayne could ever work together? Yeah. You see it? No. But it, could they? Yeah. Sonically, would it be okay? Yeah. But people say Wayne, Wayne fell off. Have you heard Life of Mr. Carter? What's, what's on that? It's on the deluxe for Funeral. Yeah, what's on that? No, Life of Mr. Carter is a song of, like, this, oh. Wayne, Wayne be confusing then me because no. like, he has, like, certain cuts. Like, he'll give you, like, your body and then he'll give you a lot of trash. Like, it's like, you, the consistency is not there. On that song where you're, you're, you're nailing me for uh, that Khaled, what's it called? God did? Yeah. God did it or whatever? Yeah. Yeah, so did he, did he body his verse? He he said he talked about I like the message. Yeah. Um Vise, like I like there's a song called Visine Wayne put out. I love that. Um this some songs by Wayne like, recent there's few recent Wayne songs like that pop off. Yeah, like, for yeah. me like nothing can ever do hustle, what hustler music did for my life. Okay. But like it's it's hit or miss these days. I agree. But then it's like I'm like but you can't take away what someone's done. Yeah, but we're holding on. We're in this. Yeah, we're holding. We're from an era that's holding on to be like, okay, Lil Wayne, he'll he'll get it. Yeah. He'll get it again. Yes. Right? Okay. So we just don't want to let go. But yeah, did he fall off? Yeah, sure. Um. So you gotta go. Yeah, I do. What's it gonna take to keep, to get you to come back? Not like okay, and I guess what's it gonna take to get you to come back? But more importantly, you're seeing what we're doing here. What are your yeah, thoughts? Yeah. What are your thoughts? And I how do we and how do we get you to come back? Not come back for free, but what I'm saying, well, maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, I need reason to come out here. No, dead serious. I need reason to come out here. I mean, of course, I could just come and kick it like I did today. Yeah. But no, nah, like you know, I think you should put me to work. You should put me to work. You wanna be the boss? If I'm on payroll, hell yeah. Um, so if you, in a radio, like if in a radio station, w so I wear different hats. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'm the presenter, sometimes I'm the boss, mm -hmm. sometimes I'm cleaning the floor. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, and I like, I, I don't, I don't have a, I Just don't have, so. yeah. But like for you, what, what hats do you enjoy the most? That's the thing. I do all that shit, but okay. that's not because no one's like someone's giving me the job, but because it needs to be done. So I do it like an idiot. I do it without being asked. Me, so I should literally be paid like five people's jobs. You know what I yeah. mean? But if I see that something needs to be done, then you just get it done. Because if you don't do that, then something else suffers. Right. So if I want to put out a good product, then everything has to be working the right way. Do you feel me? Yeah. What do you think about what we're doing here? I think it's great. Could I do a podcast type show like you do? I don't know. I mean, I think I could. Like this conversation, for example, this went well. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but I'm so used to like keeping things like short, cute, get it out your system. What else you have to say? And then that's it. So I'll tell you my biggest struggle. Mm -hmm. Um when you're building something, it takes a while to build something in the sense that what we're doing here is amazing, but we're not, 
we're not class we're not we're not we're not we're not your commercial radio station so a lot of times which is not all bad so a lot of times we might not have the money that a radio station like uh, the money that a radio station has but the money will come and the hardest thing is like explain to people like we all need money now you can't like nobody's life can survive without money but like if you were to do anything for the rest of your life and you didn't have to get paid what would you do it'd be radio for real yeah yeah like you would wake up do it like yo it would be radio okay i don't know why i don't know i don't know even after they broke your heart oh that's you have a heart just one company you joking me you have a heart suck it (laughs) they didn't break my heart actually they made me stronger it's just it's gonna take me a while to get back on my feet but i think it came at a good time as well okay yeah so I'm chilling. Like, I'm good. Like, I mean, t- tonight I was supposed to go and take photographs of the furniture. By the way, if you need a fridge or a couch, holler at your girl. <laughs> fridge or couch. Yeah, tomorrow yeah. is out. I'm moving out. I'm moving back into mom's. But this is the thing. My mom needs me right now, so I think it came at a good time. Okay. Yeah. Um, we need you in the sense of not Radio 254 needs you, but the world needs you. Oh, um, thanks, honey. And this, we, we need you... In whatever, in, in whichever way you choose to share yourself with us, we just we want you around. Oh, um, we want to see. Well, at least you do. I do. <laughs> like I, we want to see the clothing line. We want to see the different ideas you have. We want to see I'm what, take, what, I'm whatever Kareen's been bottled in, like whatever you've been holding, whatever you've been bottling inside. I don't think I do enough bottling. You think so? Yeah. I think you should. Someone should. Someone should take out your phone when you start tweeting crazy. That's the only <laughs> thing I would. That's the only thing I would help you with. Like I would just. But then I just I'm like. I would yeah, change your then, password. Yeah, but then I just like okay, delete, delete. I spend most of my time deleting tweets as opposed to tweeting. What happens when you start tweeting, Kareen? Like what? What goes on? Oh wait, hold hold, hold up, hold up. Ruby, where the where are you? Okay. Um, listen, I'm still at the rate. All right, am I meeting you at my house? No, okay, I'll meet you. All right, all right, bye, I'm live. All right. <laughs> all right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I had to take that. It's okay. Um, what were you saying? Oh, uh-huh. yeah, you want to take away my phone? Yeah, okay. like... But I don't care, really, about, like, what the fuck I'm saying. But then I, I realized... You care because okay, you delete. I do delete, but I feel like that's after hours of, like, letting it sit, maybe even days, and I'm like, okay, so maybe I should maybe I should just calm down. But why should I calm down? You don't have to follow me. Like, literally, it's not bringing any revenue to me. So I guess I could capitalize on that. Yeah. But yeah, but whatever. Because people, so pe- people do be getting excited when you tweet reckless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not hurting me. Get some people going. <laughs> it's not hurting me. I know, so I'm like, Kanye? Yeah. But you know Kanye stays relevant, though. <laughs> it's helpful. Kanye is crazy, but he's relevant still, you know? <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's my thing. But I don't... But now, you see, now I'm just going to be like, okay, I can't, I can't tweet. Like, I guess I'm not tweeting tonight. Thanks. Please do. <laughs> no, nah, you killed it. But what I am going to do is I'm going to tweet this photo of you in studio, though. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do that, like, right now. Um, oh, also, my Instagram got hacked, so Twitter really is my only, like, online, like... Really? Yeah. How, who hacked your Instagram and why? So, Abbas, big shout-out to you, sent me some message. Obviously, he was hacked. Yeah. But some message about how, hey, how you doing, girl? I'm like, hey, I'm cooling i was at like a, in a hospital like waiting room uh-huh. so i did, wasn't like really paying attention it was like oh i forgot i i lost my followers just click on this link for me to get all my followers uh, back i'm like click yeah and then my life disappeared damn yeah big shout out to your boss <laughs> but like do you miss instagram i feel like we waste yeah. a lot of time on there actually no okay at first i was like in a panic but nah fuck it okay um <laughs> how does it feel to cuss on radio it doesn't feel that natural. Okay. I, I mean, I don't need... Some girl to was here yesterday, she's like, did I charge you? Did I cost you money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a big ass deal on commercial radio. It's a big deal. But you have a dump button, right? So if someone curses, like, you have five seconds of silence. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because there's a little bit of a lag. Do they so actually know? But shit, like, do they, they know when you guys do stuff? Like, what's the most trouble you ever got on... Ter- what, what's the most trouble you ever got into on radio? Like, what's the... 
Like No, I haven't. You never got in trouble? For things that I said? Yeah, like on your show, like the like you did too much. No. So you just you you don't be saying you like you just tweet crazy, but you don't like on the radio you're like, no. No. But you usually see, when I you're don't a professional. Have, I usually no. <laughs> usually I don't have time to get into tra- like because it's just in and out, in and out, in and out. See, like, so that's interesting. So you know what I learned the hard way? I had an interview with the Young Bulls. They can't sit down still. So if you let them take a break, they're smoking a J outside. Right, right, right. To get them back in the studio settled yeah. is impossible. Right. That's why I can't let you leave the room. Because if you leave the room, oh my God, I yeah. don't know how to get you to sit down again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even I don't know how to sit, stay still. So like, if I'm, I'll be all over the place. Yeah. Like, Or you come back with a different energy. Yeah, I'll be on a link and then I'll go, and I, like, <laughs> I, I can't stay still. Yeah. So it's like, I, I like the... Keep me still for a minute. Okay. So I could focus on what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, but that's why, I mean, that's why I think I enjoy shorter, like, links. That's what you call it in radio when you, the time that you're speaking, that's a link. So shorter links work for me because you, you feel like you have to get this out, knock this out, knock yeah. this out. So there's no time for, like, shenanigans. There's no, I'm not giving you enough of a platform for you to formulate some, like, long ass bullshit story, you know? Yo. For like a year, we were paying for someone else's mistake that they made. Yes. Right? Yeah. So, yo, just watch what you're saying. I think it's just common human decency, you know? Okay. Common sense. Um, favorite song right now? Doesn't have to be Kenyan. What's your favorite? What song, st- what song could you stop listening to? Shit. Oh, I've gone back, though. It's okay. Nothing that's out right now. Okay. It's not for me. I'm really feeling gonna. Big shout out to my cousin Howie. How you doing? I'm feeling gonna. Um, you think YSL's ever gonna be free again? Not all of them. Because they be like, it, it just keeps getting messier and messier. Yo, this trial is not even like it's, it hasn't even begun. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. But even if they are. Can you come back with that magic? As a matter of fact, the last album that I listened to from top to bottom mm-hmm. was um, Young Thug's one, right? Okay. Because everyone was like, oh, it's whack, it's weak. Uh, what's it called? Punk? Yes. Yeah, I loved it. I thought yeah. it was brilliant. I think that was my favorite Young Thug. Really? Yeah, and I'm a big fan. Damn. Just because, he, you know, he's on that, like, mellow... I wasn't expecting that. I was like, what the fuck is this? On first listen, I'm like, what the fuck is this? But then after listening to it again, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, that's my shit. Um, nighttime radio or... Yeah, nighttime. Nighttime radio or podcast? What, do you, what, what, are, you, what are you feeling like is your vibe right now? Would you, rather, would you see yourself doing like a two-hour podcast on like a Saturday or do you see yourself like on nighttime radio? Nighttime radio. Okay. But I'm used to it. Maybe if I, like, get used to podcasting and stuff, cool. Um, I'm not, What I'm saying is that I'm open to it, mm-hmm. but nighttime radio is where it's at. What do you do on Friday nights? Because I know even when you... I'm even, here. No, but, like, <laughs> even before, you didn't have... Your Friday nights have been free for, like, a couple months yeah, now. Yeah. Cause I just, They're always free. When they, when they brought Mr. Friday night, I was like, oh, bring back Kareem. <laughs> Man, what is this guy? No, no, he's, he's always done Friday nights. Okay, so, I'm like... always done till Thursday. So, what do you do Friday nights? I'm out and about. Okay. Yeah. Like today, like who knew I'd be here? So normally I'd just be at home, like chilling. Actually, because my kid goes to bed earlier, so I'm probably like in bed by now, to be honest. So if with your job and being on nighttime radio, do you get, like, because of Quaid, like, do you, how do you, like, do you say bye before you leave? Or like when you, because when you get back home, is he up? No. No. So, so I say bye before I leave. Okay. But then I see him in the morning before school. Okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't be hard for you to like leave him at night. No, because okay. I know he's asleep, right? So so long as someone's there to make sure like the house doesn't burn down, yeah, yeah he's, he's straight. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we are gonna leave. That was fun. Thank you so much, honey. Thank you so so much. Uh, we will be back Monday, seven p.m. to ten p.m. Please stay tuned. Thank you so much to everybody who's been listening. Thank you so much to the guests. Thank you so much for everybody who submitted music this week. Um, we're going to keep pushing Kenyan music culture forward. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned! <laughs>